All right, between heat and the hurricanes, ERCOT says it is ready for this summer, but the agency says it will may have to ask you, Nick's mm -hmm. going to tell us just how much, may have to ask you to conserve energy, even call potentially for rolling blackouts. ABC 13 Signatario spoke with the head of ERCOT and asked if this will ever change. He's now joining us live from the newsroom with a story we will only see here on 13. Hi, Nick. Yeah, a lot of you this summer might keep your eyes on ERCOT's website. That's where you can monitor their great conditions right there. But the state says that it's doing things to try and improve the grid and the number of energy sources. In the meantime, it's trying to make sure your AC stays on this summer. With the summer heat upon us, we spoke to the head of ERCOT about the grid handling the demand. I am confident that the grid is ready to withstand a hot summer ahead of us. Confidence that comes with more resources. The state added more solar and energy storage since last summer. Renewables expected to make a big difference next month. However, there could be tighter conditions in August because solar doesn't provide as much power. While we still feel like the days are fairly long in August, we start to actually see the days shorten, right? They, they're already shortening now. The state is trying to fix this by adding more storage. This way, before the sun sets, the solar power can be stored and used later. But there's still a long way to go. There's traditional issues like supply chain challenges. You know, we've got, we're seeing grids all around the world recognizing the value that battery storage can bring. And so there's demand all over the world now for more batteries. And so just being able to keep up with the supply chain. Even more power is on the way. State lawmakers created a Texas energy fund that gives companies low interest loans to create power. So far, 125 have expressed interest. They have until next month to apply. However, Leaders say the added power could still be a couple of years away. You're probably going to be looking at late into 2026 and into 2027 when some of that generation will start to come online. And then you'll see it kind of steadily over the next couple of years following that. Between renewables, storage and other energy sources, ERCOT leaders hope great concerns may soon be a thing of the past. So I do believe that we are climbing our way out of this kind of risk mode that we've been in over the last few years. First, the state has to handle what could be an extremely hot summer. Nick Notario, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.